Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now. Go Cats, go! Welcome everyone. Today we are going to take a trip to Sun Studio in Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome everyone. I guess I owe you an apology and I promise you won't hear me sing again. Well, at least not in this video. You're probably wondering why I'm starting a video that takes place in Memphis here in my home. Let me give you a little background before we get started on this one. I was in Memphis. I didn't have my camera, so a lot of this was shot on my phone. Quality isn't as great, but it was such a fun visit. I wanted to share it with you. And a lot of this tour included music. It was great music. Music by Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash. They even played Rocket 88 which was considered to be the very first rock and roll song. By the way, Ike Turner played on that one. I can't play any of that here because of copyright laws. So you're gonna be hearing some generic kind of rock and roll, um, rockabilly music in the background of this, just so you're aware that isn't Sun Record Recordings. Aside from that, um, this is gonna be a short trip to think some of the biggest names in early rock and roll, some of the pioneers, recorded some of their best known records in this tiny little studio. So what they did first, they took us on a tour of an upstairs area that was a little bit of a museum. They told the backstory, and then we came down and went into the actual studio. And when you see me standing with a microphone, that was what they called the sweet spot, the exact place where Elvis stood and recorded so many of his early popular songs. Was that the same microphone? Well, they didn't guarantee that, but they said, maybe. So enjoy the visit. You're going to see me going around Beale Street in different parts of Memphis as well. And I hope you have as much fun watching as I did. Okay, you're not gonna have that much fun, but I hope you enjoy it anyways. So I'm inside Sun Records in Memphis, Tennessee, waiting for my tour to start. Uh, it starts in about 10 minutes. What I'm sitting in right now is the front side of it, the front entrance, and this is where the gift shop is located. Kind of a busy place here. Get up. Yeah, there's an old war, let's say. All old rock and roll on here. What a great picture. have a little cafe here in the Sun Studio. And here is a signed copy of Blue Suede Shoes by Carl Perkins. The first million selling record recorded at Sun Studio. What do you think? Am I ever going to make any hit records? No, I don't think it fits me. I kind of like the look of Alfred's. Of course, I've always been attracted to those rooftop restaurants. Got to look over the city. You can enjoy Beale Street from the second floor, right? Let's take a walk over and see what they have. 
So I'm sitting up here at Alfred's Patio Bar. I have a nice view. Looking right down Beale Street. I was actually going to be on one of those corner tables, but while he um, had to run downstairs to get me something to drink, someone ran over and took my table. Of course, it wasn't mine, but it was the one I wanted. I don't know, I have to admit I'm not really familiar with Rufus Thomas, but anybody who calls themselves the funkiest chicken of the South can't be all bad, right? So that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that quick tour of Sun Studio and a little bit of Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks for watching, everyone. Or maybe I should say, thank you. Thank you very much.